All right, got the busy day today. I'm at a retirement home uh, somewhere in Philadelphia. Well, not really in Philadelphia, the city, but on the outskirts. And uh, I got a little job to do today. Take a walk over here. Gonna be pulling an old generator out of this building. Been in here for a long time. Down in here. Old Kohler. Not sure when this, uh, what era this is from. Got the blue paint on it, so I'm gonna say between the blue paint and the uh, the engine and the fact that it's a 1200 RPM unit, I'm gonna say sometime early 50s probably, late 40s, early 50s. The original installation. It's already been disconnected. It's a single phase, by the way. Single phase, 240 volt. And, uh, yeah, they're done with it. So, I uh, heard through the grapevine they were getting rid of it, or not that they were going to get rid of it, just that they it was taken out of service. And, uh, yeah, they're going to give it to me. So, hey, okay, I'll take it. Set up for natural gas right now, but got uh, gasoline carburetor there with the natural gas attachment but still has the float bowl and everything else fuel pump so I can convert it to gasoline looks like the uh, little ferrule they give you there has never been used Waukesha FC engine so yeah couldn't refuse it anybody hey, oh look, it's still got the original hand crank on it it's electric start but hand crank if you need it Pretty nice setup. Honeycomb radiator. So I'm not sure where the transfer switch is or where it would have been. I don't know. Or if they did it manually, maybe. Big rotary phase converter down there. Yep. So that's my job today. To get this generator out through that door and onto my trailer. So I'll keep you updated. I don't know what's going on over there. That pipe's shaking. <laughs> Alright. Alright, well progress is moving along here. I got the um, all the leads disconnected, everything pulled off. Had to take the top of, cover off of the uh, uh, controller it's sitting over there. Had the fuse blocks on it. <clears throat> uh, disconnected the exhaust. The uh, gas feed was already disconnected, but I had to take the vaporizer off the other side so I could clear the pad when I spun it. But uh, I had it turned horizontally now. So now uh, the plan is to slide it back off the pad, get it on the ground, and then I'll uh, prop jack it up and slide these two rails underneath of it. Uh, these wooden rails are what I'm going to, I'm going to use to uh, winch it up the ramps and winch it down the lane there to my truck. So hopefully these will slide pretty well on the grass. I put a little bevel on them there. Almost so they're back like skis. So we'll see how that goes. Alright, well it's out of the dark sad room and onto my trailer in the sun here. Looks good in the sun. Um, sorry I kinda cut out uh, um, the actual act of winching it out up up the set of ramps onto uh, and down the uh, laneway there. It was pretty ugly. It uh, was not fun. It rained here quite a bit this week. Um, well, this past week. It was cold last night, so I thought, well, no, it was actually pretty cold, so I thought, well, maybe the ground will harden up a little bit, but eh, it didn't harden up too much, so. But the little, uh, the runners did come in handy. I would have never been able to move it 
on the steel frame itself. So it looks pretty good here in the sun. Nice uh, metering set here. Output voltage, output current. There's a battery charge current. It's a nice unit. It's had a block heater all its life. Well, probably for most of its life. Never really needed one down there. It's pretty warm. American Bosch Magneto. It's a pretty original unit. Radiator looks like it might have, you know, might have a few leaks. Might need to be addressed. I, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if there's any... Mm, I think it's dry. I think they drain the coolant out of it. But what's really nice is the controls, for the most part, are original. They haven't been messed with too much. Battery charge transformer. It's 32 volt start, by the way. 10,000 watt, 12240. Like I said, it's got the gasoline uh, dual fuel carburetor, so it's got the adapter plate at the bottom for vapor fuel. Got the original choke lever there. Choke knobs up front. Nope, oh, knobs missing. Just a shaft. Like I said, it had the original crank. It's pretty nice shape. Didn't suffer uh, on the way out. Didn't bang it up or anything. A little vacuum operated, or not vacuum, uh, temperature by the exhaust operated choke there. And this, I'm not quite sure what this is. This little solenoid here. I can't read that. I'll have to investigate that. It might be like an idle. No, I don't, I don't really know actually what that is. Never seen anything like that before. Mounted on the throttle shaft. Pretty interesting. Well, this unit apparently was only taken out of service. Oh, maybe uh, three or four months ago. Maybe five months ago. So. Uh, if I uh, connect it up to a propane source of the uh, you know correct pressure, it should fire right up, more or less. A little bit of work, some coolant, some batteries. I don't know what their air looks like. Somebody's been looking in here already. It looks pretty good, actually. Somebody broke a bolt off there. All right, well you'll see more of this later.